Hey everybody, Ben Mason here at Agol Studio. Today I'm gonna to share with you a little bit of information regarding the, the path the club takes through the swing and how the angle of attack influences that. I get a lot of golfers come to me that say, I can draw my iron clubs, I hit lovely draws with my irons, but when I hit the driver, it goes the other way, it fades, and I feel like I'm making the same golf swing, but I get completely different ball flight. And in truth, they are making the same golf swing. Um, it's just whereabouts in the, in the arc, they are hitting the golf ball that controls that ball flight. What I mean by that is with the driver, obviously, we have a ball forward in the golf swing. So you're gonna hit this golf ball later in the arc. And with an iron, we have a ball further back in the golf swing. So we're hitting the ball at different points in the arc of the golf swing with different clubs. Now, because the golf, golf swing is not a straight line, if I place these two balls here a little bit more, the golf swing is not a straight line, straight back, straight through like this. Obviously there's a curve to the swing. Now if you're hitting the ball with an iron club on the downward curve of the golf swing, so the club's traveling from in here, it's hitting the golf ball and hits it before it reaches the low point of the golf swing. Now for the purpose of this, we're gonna pretend that the golf swing is directly at the target. So we hit the ball, at the low point of the golf swing there, this club head is still traveling from in to out. So you've got a swing that's directly at the target, but the club is traveling from in to out when it hits the golf ball because it's hit on the downward side of the arc. You're on the, before the low point in the golf swing. So with the driver, we can still have the club traveling from exactly the same direction it reaches the low point before it gets to the golf ball. And then what does the club start to do? It starts to curve back in and around again. So the club is actually traveling to the left of the target when it makes contact with the golf ball. Now, I'm sure most of you are aware, to hit draws, the club needs to be traveling from an inside out path, or sorry, in, from inside to out when it hits the golf ball. And for a fade, the club needs to be traveling from outside to in when it hits the golf ball. And all this is changed just due to the ball position that we take with the different clubs. Obviously with the driver, we have the ball further forward because we're trying to catch it on an upswing. So the more on the upswing you get that golf ball, the more the club is traveling to the left. Therefore, it's easy to fade the driver and it's easy to fade to draw the irons with exactly the same golf swing. So what do we do? Well, one of the things we can do, and I believe Ben Hogan was very, very good at this, when he, and you see in his uh, book of Modern Fundamentals, he has a, an image in there of how he positions his feet for the different clubs. So with the wedge shots, when we know the club is gonna be hitting the ball on the downstream, he's got his feet positioned slightly left of target to compensate for the inward direction inside out direction of the club head. Then with the driver, he goes the other way. He's more this way to compensate for the outward in direction the club head is traveling when it hits the golf ball. So he has little adjustments to his golf swing to compensate for where in the arc that golf ball is hit. Hope this has all made sense to you. Get out on the range and give it all a go. If you want to contact me and ask me any questions about it, you can find me at benmasongolf at gmail.com or you can find me on Twitter at Ben Mason Golf. Thank you all for listening.